Good evening. Maria Magdalena and Elena Marisol. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How Good evening, is teacher. how are you doing? How are you doing? Good? Yes, I'm ready. Teacher. Excellent. So ready to start, right? Yes, I'm ready. More than ready. So did you take uh, your your dinner already? Yes, teacher. Yes. In my case, yes. Okay. So you've been studying English, I, uh, of course. Also, How... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Lourdes got into the class. Olga got into the class. Logo, Olga. Hello, hello. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Teacher, no hay problema que solo usted de oyente. Okay, there's no any problem. Okay. There's, there's no any problem, okay. Let us wait a little bit for the rest. Remember what's well, important to start with uh, with the class. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start in a moment. Let us give some time to the people who haven't gathered yet. Actually, it's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock, so we still um we can we can wait a little bit for the rest, okay? How was it? How was your day? What can you tell me about your day? Was it good? Was it not was not that good? Did you face some challenges? Um did you work hard? Uh what about the traffic? What can you tell me about the traffic? I know today is a little bit difficult to commute from one place to another one or from your 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 job to your home. What can you tell me about it? About it today? Good. Everything was good. Okay. So now I can see Gabriela there, Dalila, Aristides, Lourdes, Carlos David, Claudia Margarita. Okay, so you see people are just getting into the class. So I will check list attendance and later. Well, I will I will check it second time. So let's start. Let me see. Alejandra Maria, Aristide Sotoniel, Carlos David, present teacher, Carlos David, Cesar, present teacher, okay, Claudia Margarita, I'm here, teacher. Okay, Concepcion uh, de Lourdes. Good evening, I'm here. Good evening. Dalila. Present teacher. Okay, Elena Marisol. I'm here, teacher, present. Good, good. Gabriela Noemi. Present, mister. Good. Idalia. Well, Idalia is, is missing. Ileana, Janet. Iliana, Ingrid Morena, 
Ingrid, are you there? Mm, Juan Carlos. Crisia Morena. Liliana Dolores. Present. Ok, María Magdalena. Present, teacher. Olga Lisset. Rina Margarita. Present, teacher. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Ok, Wendy Beatriz says there. Uh, two, four, six, seven people has having. Aquí. Wendy, Wendy Rodríguez, ok. Wendy Rodríguez. Aninda Ana Molina. Sorry. Aninda Ana Molina también. Ileana, all right. Aristide Flores. Aristide Sotoniel Flores, right? Sí. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. Okay. So I will I will check this attendance at the end. Uh sorry. To Alejandra, Alejandra Maria, I did it at the beginning. Okay, Alejandra Maria. Pretty good. Okay. Two for five. Okay, don't worry because I will checklist attendance a second time at the end, right? So remember, I checklist attendance twice. Good. Hey, welcome, welcome to the class once again. Remember, well, next next week is going to be different, right? Because we don't have classes from Monday through Thursday, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Juan Carlos, hello. Juan Carlos, any question? Okay, it will be different. I don't know. Juan, Car Juan Carlos, you raise your hand, but I don't know if you have problems with microphone. Hi. Hi, teacher. Uh huh. Tell me. Good night. Uh -huh. I I work. Uh, I work. Okay. I, I I will only be listening. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll take it into consideration. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm, well, uh, Margarita, there is a message in the chat. Okay, Margarita, I hope, I hope I will remember about it. Well, I was just telling you about what's coming the next week. And uh, this week was different, a little different, because, you know, the, the schedule is from Monday through Thursday, Thursday, right? But today we are having classes because we didn't start on Monday. That's why we are just uh, taking advantage of time and trying to recover uh, or to get the, the advantage of the whole week. Uh, tonight, uh, I will go directly to the activities. We're in charge of studying. We're gonna go deeply on, in this in these exercises in the platform. So do me the favor to, to get into the platform and, and try to complete the exercises with me. Okay, because we have one topic, two topics, three topics over here. So. We're gonna to try to develop all of them and we're gonna we're gonna work in the exercises quickly. Okay. We're gonna save the video. Now we here you know the topic that we are we are starting tonight is about countable and non-countable nouns. Uh-huh. I, I, I know that in basic English you study about there is and there are. You study the indefinite pronouns an, an or a, and all the stuff. So we're just uh, getting uh, some review, but besides that, we are trying to get more vocabulary and we are going to go over some exercises so that we can master the information. Well, we're going to start. Let's pay attention. 
Uh, what do you see in the picture, people? Hey, how do you say puente in English? Bridge. Ah, that's bridge. a bridge. What else do you see? There is a bridge. Bridge is quantum, all right? What about the cards? How many do you see there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are pictures. Yeah, there are eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, like 13 cards. And the traffic seems to be awful, right? So traffic is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. It's not countable. Pretty good. So we are starting with the uh, pretty well because I can see that you have a good idea about what's countable and about what's non-countable. Here we go. Pay attention, please. Do you listen? Do you listen? No, teacher. No, I committed the same mistake. I don't know why I, I do it so frequently. Okay, now, yes, I'm sorry. It was my mistake. Here we go once again. Count okay. and non-count. Oh, yes, right? Let me give you a quick example of this. There's yes. Yes, right. Too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, a shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count, people, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So, let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Remember, that's impossible because they are Next, not countable. Like now you're not allowed to uh, I would like to add play an S. audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. 
the last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Uh, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? Okay, so that was quite simple, right? Um, but it's really nice to have some review. So I really like uh, the last part. In your city. Since we are just uh, seeing some questions related to our city, right? I don't know where you live, but well, I, we're gonna we're gonna know uh, the next week. Today, well, we're gonna work a little bit in this part, and then you are gonna get an activity uh, to be done at home. I mean, um, in your free time, if you have free time, okay. And but I will let you know about it later. Well, countable and non-countable nouns. Um, Let's see, according to what we saw in the video, we have which of the following options is not a countable noun. Bus, countable or non-countable? Parking. No, tell me if it is if it is countable. It's countable. Countable or uh, uncountable? Okay. Countable. That's countable, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so but which one is not countable? Several a line, a parking. A parking? parking. Yes. 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 What are some examples of non-countable nouns? Choose three options. Tell me the three options. Water. 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 Air. Air. Television. Television is not countable. Wood. Wood. Is it wood? Wood. 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 Okay, huh? water, wood, air. What are some examples of countable nouns? Choose three. Now it's the opposite, right? Book. Book. Desk, camera. Desk, camera. And camera. camera. And camera. Or sugar. No contable. In coffee. No, 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 no. Delicious, uh, but non contact. <laughs> Why do the buses cause too much pollution? What do you think the buses cause too much pollution? Uh, the buses cause too much pollution because they are old. The buses uh, are new, but they are in a bad condition. There are too many buses. The bus cause the bus the pollution. Number one. Number one or number three? First. I think number three. Number two. Number two. Well, let's say one. Uh, one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay, let's see if it is. Number two, number two. Mm. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna choose number one later. Don't worry, it's because two. well, actually, this is very tricky, right? Because um, the thing is that we can only choose one, but we will see later. We they will only have only have five exercises. Why is there too much traffic, people? What do you think is the reason? Because there are too many bicycles, because there are too many cars, or because there are too many <laughs> uh, pedestrians. Number two, because there are too many cars. 
Number two. Because there are too mm -hmm. many cars, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna check. Uh-huh, too many cars. You see, that's the real problem, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That is the real, I mean, I'm not telling you that this is not a problem, but the real, I mean, the cause of pollution, real cause of pollution, because people don't care about the the the, the situation of it, of every single box. Oh, uh, and we have poo chimera desk. And the opposite water wood in here. Parking great. Okay, so actually this is about contable no color. Don't worry. We're gonna go over next part. But I have some extra information. Okay. Now over here we're gonna see expression of quantity, which is closely related to countable and non-countable down. Okay. Mm, we are gonna see this so that you can get as much information about the videos because later you are going to create something, okay? Esta es la parte donde ustedes llenan, se llenan de información, pero acuérdense que hay una parte en donde ustedes van a crear algo en inglés. So pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation we need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's gonna help us to understand when we're gonna use too many, for example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non count now, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here there are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present this structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say we have too many cars. And let me go ahead, as I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. Okay. Um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors. Um, there and that follows the verb to be and then we have too many and that's how we make that expression there are too many cars we can also say we have too many cars What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now. So we used there plus aren't, and then this is going to follow the expression enough. And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough 
police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cards. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject. Then we need should. After that, we're going to need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's going to be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say there should be fewer cards, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should, and then this is, will be followed by a verb. It can be the verb to be, but it can be other verbs as well. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count now that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. And these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city. And the other example that I haven't talked about, we need more subway lanes. That is kind of like a stronger opinion, so it's no longer a suggestion, if you will. Um, but it's, it's something similar. And so um, it's quite similar. We're going to say we. The only difference is that we don't include a model bird, right? We need more, and in this case, subway lines. What I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city, but now I'm going to do it with non count nouns. And so what I would like for you to notice is the difference, right? We, we discussed how to express problems with count nouns. For example, we said there are too many cars. And what I want you to notice is that with non-count nouns, we're going to use different words. So for example, instead of too many, we will use too much. Instead of fewer, we will use less. Um, we can use more for count nouns as well as for non-count nouns. So as you can see the example there, we need more subway lanes. That's a countable. We need more public transportation. That's a non-countable. Um, and enough is the same way. There aren't enough buses. There isn't enough parking. Um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always going to treat non-countable nouns as singular, even though we might be talking about uh, more things. So let me try to present some structure there so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we can say there is too much traffic. And what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose. And there's our example. We have a subject that is followed by the verb. And then this is followed by either too much or enough. And then we have a non count now. So the example there is too much traffic. Let me give another quick example. There is too much, and I'm going to say pollution. Um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. Um, there isn't enough parking. And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model verb. Okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should, be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less, and we're going to say pollution. Um, I'm going to change these words now, and instead of too much or not enough or, or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. It's going to be followed by the model verb should. 
and then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be, it can be something else. And then either less or more, and whatever non count that exists. Okay, we're almost done. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learned. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. And I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non count nouns. And remember that if you are going to use count nouns, you're going to use expressions such as too many, fewer, or more. And if you're going to use non count nouns, then you're going to use expressions such as too much, less, or more. And so here's a quick guide of what I would like for you to do. I want you to tell me about your city. So a quick example, this city should provide more. We have too many. There's too much. There isn't enough. There should be fewer. There should be less. And you either include count nouns or non-count nouns. And that's it. Okay, now the, the video is almost done. And I really like this part because it is uh, the activity is ask is required or is asking us to go and investigate, right? Some problems about the city we live in. Okay. So in El Salvador, you know, we have many problems, right? So we face many problems daily in every single city, okay? But um, as you can see, we can use a countable and uncountable nouns with some uh, expressions that we have just uh, seen in this video and try to provide some suggestions, right? Because when you say the city should provide so what are you doing? You are providing uh, your opinion about the way to solve a problem, okay? There should be fewer, there should be less, there's too much, the, we have too many, okay? So as you can see, we have countable, for countable, and also we have for uncountable. A nouns, okay. So, well, I will close this part. We're gonna solve the exercise that uh, continues after this video, and then you are gonna create something to give your opinions. As you can see, to give your opinions. Okay, but listen, let us let us go over this exercise a little bit quickly. Then we're gonna get back to the activity in the video. Okay, and let's see. Uh, I will try to make it bigger so that you can see better. Hey, which is correct for you people? There aren't too many police officers in the city. There aren't enough police officers in my city. There aren't many two police officers in my city. Number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. There is too much traffic, so the government needs to build uh, what more highway, fewer highways, or enough hi highways. More highways. The first one. More. The first one. More highways. Mm -hmm. Number three. Which is correct? Number three. There are too much. There are too much pollution in my city. There is too little pollution. Pollution in my city, or there is too much pollution in my city. The first. The first. Yes. So the you said, you said the first. Let us, let us analyze the first. See, there, there are. One. No, no. But listen. When do we use there are people? Do, do we mm -hmm. use the R with cut with non cut pollution? What is pollution? Countable or non countable? No countable. Now question, okay. question. Do we use the R with non countable? Do we use the R with non countable? Yes or no? Mm. Yeah. So we can say the 
There are too much pollution possible? No. There is. Ah, okay. There are is for countable. Ah, numbers. can you listen to, to... No, number three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is too much pollution in my city. Well, let's see. Number four. Let's see with number four. Complete the statement. I can sleep at night. There should be less noise, more noise, too much noise. Less noise. Less noise. And here we have complete the following statements by using the quantity expression to many fewer more. Make sure not to use capital letters or periods. And we have the first ones over here. The government needs to build more. 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 Yes, more. So we're gonna we're gonna try to complete it. We're gonna see. Excellent. More, more highways. Let's see. Less noise. There is too much pollution in my city. More highways. Wow, you got it hundred percent, people. Congrats. Congratulations. So we already started about countable and non-countable. We also studied about the expressions of quantity. We saw a couple of uh, examples. And well, this is going to, I, I will try to develop this topic uh, on Monday, right? Indirect question. It, that this is quite simple, but we need to put it into practice. Well, what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? Well, as you could notice, the videos we studied were about uh, problems that we face in our cities. I wonder if there is if there is any city with, with no problems. Será que no hay que hay ciudades sin problemas alrededor del mundo solo una? Será que habrán ciudades no. que no tienen problemas? Todas, no. todas. Entonces no. vamos a hacer algo. Eh, vamos a hacer pura práctica, pura práctica, ¿ok? Este, yo les voy a compartir una 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 presentación de PowerPoint que tenía por acá. Pero este, se la voy a dejar para que la estudien. Um, pero ahorita, ahorita necesito que identifiquen tres o cuatro problemas en nuestra ciudad o en las ciudades donde ustedes viven. Y nos digan, que nos lo expliquen, que a qué se debe. Que yo, por ejemplo, elegiría trash. Ok, litren. Trash on the street. Uh -huh. Y la culpa principal, the main problem, or the, the people, I mean, the main problem is that people are not well educated, right? Because mm -hmm. trash, garbage, there is garbage all around the world, but what do people do with that garbage? Well, people are trained to, to, to um, categorize trash, okay? and take the garbage to its place. So that I may say about, about trash. Okay, so esa es la que yo elegiría. Hubo un ejemplo, por decir algo. Entonces elijan tres, tres, tres problemas que ustedes visualizan en sus ciudades y explíquenos quizás la causa y cómo deberíamos de solventar. Para eso vamos a dedicar 5, 10, 15 minutos vamos a dedicar. ¿Ok? Tratemos de no leer la información. ¿Ok? Si quieren buscar información en internet, háganlo. Y pues luego van a tener un, un espacio para poder compartir lo que encontraron. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Let us start now. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's do it now. Let's do it now. Problems in our, in our cities.
Now, whenever you get ready, you just raise your hand and you share what you have studied, what you have gotten. okay so so if you are ready just let me know it okay and then you're going to be giving your time three problems that we face in our city and um, the possible solutions right Is there anybody ready? Yes. Yes, I am. Gabriela is ready. Okay, we are going to start with Gabriela and also Lourdes. Okay, Gabriela, you start. Okay. Um, I there are so many ways to solution that pollution. Um, don't throw trash on the street or every, okay. everywhere do a good recycle. And um, last one, don't cut the trees. Okay. 
Gabriela. Yeah. Uh, okay, don't cut trees. Only that? Okay, the first. There are so many ways to, to solute that pollute. Mm -hmm. Pollution, right? Yeah. Uh, second, second. Yes. Don't throw trash on the street or everywhere. Do I go rescue? Okay. Mm, last one. Don't cut the trees. Don't cut trees. Okay. Cut. Very good. So she mentioned countable, non countable now. Okay, and he pro she provides some info about pollution. That was good. Lourdes? Yeah. In my city, we have a big problem, which is the which is the the traffic. There are too many cars, and there isn't enough parking. So I think we should solve this problem by allowing fewer cars on the street and building more parkings. Okay. That is. Excellent, pretty good. I, I, I really like that. It happens that there are some people, uh, I mean, some family who have five cars and one car is driven by father, the other car is driven by mother, the other car is driven by son, the other for the daughter, etc. And it will, it will be really nice if people will, uh, will be able to commute from, I mean, from one place to another by using only one car, right? So that, that will help. Okay, thank you, Lourdes. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you, Carlos David. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, in my case, I, I had one problem. Um, in my neighborhood, there is a lot of noise due, due, due to loud music. Uh, I think I think the solu I think the solution should be to respect uh, others and avoid turning excessive volume um, volume uh, volume on some equipment. Uh, Axol, thank you. Okay, that's right. Thank you, Carlos. You know, noise is another problem, right? That is faced, especially in the city, not in the countryside, but in the city. Thank you, Carlos David. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? So listen, so if, you, if you're not ready now and you want to participate, you're gonna do it on Monday. Okay, because you know the topic is is why there is bigger and we need to like provide some some pieces of advice and also to identify who are the guilt who is or who are the guilty ones about the problem and um, try to provide a solution. Now I will check list attendance because we are missing only like seven minutes and it will be over. In the platform, you're going to get the information about indirect question. So you will need to investigate it because on Monday, well, we're gonna see it, but we're gonna see it quickly. We're gonna move to some exercises. Uh, and then we're just, we're, we're gonna continue, okay? So do me the favor to work in, in today's lesson. Meanwhile, I check the list of tenders.
Alejandra María. Presente. Ok. Aristides. Presente. Carlos David. Present. I am here. Cesar. Present. Claudia. Present. Entonces, eh, Lourdes. Ah, present. Dalila. Present. Elena Marisol. I'm here. Gabriela Noemi. Present, Mr. Y Dalia Margarita. Margarita. Ileana Janet. Present, teacher. Okay. Ingrid Morena. Absent, Ingrid. Juan Carlos López. Crisia Morena. Dolores eh, Mina. Present. María Magdalena. Present. Olga Lisset. She's a listener, right? Present teacher. Ok, Rina Margarita. Present teacher. And Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok, so three people miss. I will repeat. Margarita y Dalia Margarita. Ingrid Morena. En Crisia Morena. Ok, so I, we already finished with this. Aristides presente. Aristides. Yeah, I took yes, it. Yes. I, I took it into consideration, Aristides. Se queda pegado el mute. Sorry. Okay, don't worry. Well, we still have some some minutes, so we're gonna see at least the video, and then we're gonna it, it will be over. Vamos a ver el video para que se familiaricen con. Let me see. There is somebody in the chat, Aristides, right? So that you get familiarized with the information we're studying on Monday. We're gonna see it only once because of the time. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Okay, now just, just for you to have an idea about what's coming. You know, the topic is indirect questions. So I will look for a video in YouTube so that you can see it during the weekend. And on Monday, we get into the class. We're gonna, we're gonna include some other exercises. Well, 
uh, talking about about the activity we started to, tonight is about the problems we may we face in the city. Well, let me tell you that the hunger is not over. We will continue, or the activity is going to continue next next Monday. Okay, porque eh, eso le va a quedar de tarea. Okay, inclusive los que hoy presentaron van a van a volverlo a hacer. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Mary. Vial education is there is. There is? Ah, there yeah. is. Yeah, there is because we talk about education. And education is non countable Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, entonces este van a elaborar algo algo um, para presentar el día lunes, okay? Siempre relacionado tres problemas que ustedes visualicen en sus ciudades y uh, nos lo presentan nos dicen sus causas y nos dicen posibles soluciones con los temas que hemos venido estudiando ok por ahí les coloqué un, una presentación de powerpoint para que también la estudien y un consejo muy grande que les voy a decir es que cuando uno aprende in, inglés o algún otro idioma Siempre hay que estar en contacto con, con el idioma en cuestión. En el caso de nosotros es inglés. ¿okay? Traten la manera de siempre buscar información en inglés. Si usted ve las noticias, lea las noticias en inglés. ¿okay? Busque información, vocabulario que usted no conoce y vaya adquiriendo más y más vocabulario. Okay, si usted escucha música, escuche música en inglés, pero no solo escuchemos, porque muchas veces nuestro listening, como que es mucho, un poquito difícil identificar todas las palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces, para comenzar, si usted escucha música, pues también busque la, la lyrics, la letra de las, de las mismas, y apréndase más vocabulario. Si a usted le gusta leer novelas, Puede, hay novelas en inglés, hay historias en inglés, hay cuentos, hay infinidad de, de material en inglés. Para, como, como podemos decir, sábado y domingo me mantengo en contacto con el segundo idioma. Ok, así que es un consejo. Espero que lo tomen en cuenta para que puedan ver sus avances de manera más, eh, más rápida. Ok. Uh, let us see on Monday. It's been a pleasure. Uh, have a nice weekend. And remember, next week we're going to work. Uh, we're going to study from Monday through Thursday. Okay? This week was an exception. Hey, por ahí vi que los estaban felicitando también por las actividades resueltas en la plataforma. La verdad que así se hacen las cosas, ¿verdad? Y por ahí me gustó también el comentario donde dice que no se les pone ninguna barrera. Si alguien quiere adelantar o, puede, o eh, quiere um, ir un poco más despacio, es, depende de cada quien, ¿verdad? Pero sí es de ir cumpliendo con la semana que corresponde. Si no hay preguntas, nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos día lunes. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Sí, Amanda. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. Hey, have a nice weekend. Bien <laughs> 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 Dice que solo para...